Hey guys, it's Allie, and as you can probably tell from the title of this video, a lot has happened. Usually I don't do videos like this. I don't do a ton of them. I always have them like recovery updates about my anorexia, which is a big part of my life for like three years now around and the way that this connects into that is my history with anorexia made so that what happened got really scary really fast so this what happened leading up to it was two days before my 16th birthday is when i'm gonna start here yeah i'm 16 i can drive ha 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 i can drive it was two days before my 16th birthday so my birthday party I had like a 16th birthday party where me and some friends just went like boating around the lake, you know. My parents took us boating. And then we also had like a beach set up, you know. So it was the night before this that I started getting really anxious. And then as I was brushing my teeth, I hear this happens to a bunch of pregnant women, actually. I'm not pregnant, but um, <laughs> I threw up because I was so anxious and I brushed my teeth and it made me gag and I was already really nauseous from anxiety. And it, yeah. Growing up drives me insane, like it is like the worst. And honestly, after everything that's happened, I'm a tiny bit used to it by now. And I was just anxious about not throwing up again because I really didn't want to throw up, but thinking about that made me anxious and being anxious made me nauseous and being nauseous made me, you know, anxious. And I'm like, it's just constant loop. So the next day I didn't want to eat anything. So I was eating very little, still was feeling pretty sick, but I didn't want to disappoint friends, I guess, and I didn't. And I wanted to just act like everything was normal. Then we get to my birthday party. I only got on the water like once that whole day to surf. But I didn't do any tubing or anything. Because I was worried about like laying down on my stomach on our tube. Being slammed against it if we hit bumps, you know. Like, again with the cycle here. I threw up. Throwing up made me anxious. Anxiety made me lose my appetite. But not eating. Losing my appetite made me not eat. But not eating made me more nauseous and being more nauseous goes over all again to not having an appetite being anxious and not wanting to eat so it's just a constant cycle still like getting to a point where i really did not feel good but i was able to get through it and i felt like doing all right you know i was doing a bit better i think but i still had eaten very little my body i taught myself to starve of course, like, there's this whole history of, like, I thought I was doing the right thing by not eating. Not the right thing, okay? Healthy does not mean starving, like, in any way. And so I actually made myself really unhealthy by trying to make myself healthy. Anyways, that's a whole nother story. You can probably hear more about that in my past videos. But anyways, the metabolism is, like, really, really fast. Because it was already fast, and then I starved my body for a while. Then I was going back into, like, not eating mode, you know? It teaches my body to stop getting hunger cues. But that, like, not eating made me more anxious, more nauseous, like, everything was just... I got through the birthday party, it was fun. Now it's the next day, and I have turned 16. I went ahead and got my license that morning. I hung out with my boyfriend. I went and got my nails done with my mom and went out for lunch. They're grown out now, but I still love them. And then I went and got went and hung out with my boyfriend, and then I had a church ward party that whole day i just had not really eaten anything like i ate the smallest bit of stuff at night my friend brooks had him on this channel before he's awesome but he comes and picks me up and after the ward party and we go to get ice cream for my birthday so he gets me ice cream and we're driving around and i start to just panic and i didn't really know why i just was really panicked and like having a bit of a panic attack or starting to and so I had him take me home. It's very understanding about that, but I go inside and I started like crying to my parents. So I was just like, I can't do this. I don't know what's going on. I'm so exhausted. I haven't been sleeping either. And I go to drink a shake. We usually like, my parents would add in like protein powder and just a bunch of shake um, makings that to get me up to a certain point in like ca the calories I need for that day that would my parents would kind of gauge it off of like how good I ate that day. I couldn't finish the ice cream. I couldn't really even take like three bites of it before getting really nauseous. And so they had me try to drink that. I'm like bawling my eyes out. I feel like I just want to give up on everything right now. I prayed and prayed and I was just like, you know what? I can do all things through Christ. It just makes me feel stronger when I rely on him. But then I started drinking 
and I kept going and I was just like, I can do it, I can do this. And then, and my parents were telling me, they're like, oh no, you're not gonna throw up. Like that's your body lying to you because that's what it had done in the past. It had like told me, hey, you're gonna throw up, but I never really did. But this time I knew that it felt different. I still went to try my very best to get that shake down and I drank about half of it and then it came back up. Like I am so exhausted. I wasn't holding any food down when I really needed food. They would have taken me to the ER that night, but I had a doctor appointment the next morning. And so they decided to just wait off till then. Night was probably the worst birthday I've ever had. Like the morning was great, but that night was uh, yeah, no. <laughs> that morning, I tried to drink some juice. I could not get any of it down. And this is when it got really scary for me. I mean, it was already really scary, but the talk with the doctor turned to maybe it would be a good idea if I went to a center outpatient recovering for like three years now. I was like, no, I don't want to go to a center. I'm not doing that. I've gone this long. I'm not gonna like end up there now. I want to stay with my friends, I want to stay with my family, and I just think I do better with my normal home and routine. And, or it also got to, or going to the ER might be a good idea if it gets worse. And we had a camping trip that weekend and to Flame Forge with my cousins, and we just did not know if we were going to be able to do that. They gave me some nausea pills that like dissolve under your tongue. And so I started taking those and I actually improved a lot. We were able to go to the camping trip and I was eating pretty good over it. But I was like, oh yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing a lot better, you know, like it's going away. Yes, started getting stomach pains. I started getting nauseous again. And we start heading back from Flaming Gorge and I am getting bad again. Getting really nauseous and sick feeling again. Finally, um, the day after we got back from the camping trip, that's when my parents took me to the ER. And I've been kind of anticipating it with how things were going, but also not really. And I'm obviously not feeling great. What they did was they asked me a lot of questions. They did some blood tests to make sure everything was okay there. I was low on, I think, sodium and magnesium. They were really busy that day. Like, we went into the wrong ER. That's that's what I'm going to say with that. Kind of obvious they were kind of trying to hurry me out because I wasn't, like, dying so they put more nausea medicine into my blood like through iv type of thing but they didn't really put me on iv and that nausea stuff was like sedating <laughs> like it was it put me to sleep like big time they talked to my me they talked to my parents they say like okay i'm good to go home they prescribed me another nausea medication like told my parents what i was a bit low on and then they sent us out and they gave me some it's called milk of magnesium it's like a drink with like high magnesium in it and so they gave me that and it was disgusting so i walk out and i'm fine and then i walk outside the door and i just pass out my mom caught me and she like laid me down on the floor on the ground a bit softer than if I had just fallen. Thank goodness. Wake up just like laying on the sidewalk looking up at the sky. My parents are over me. They're like trying to get figure out if I'm awake, like cat what to do. They're asking me questions and trying to get me to answer. It's stressing me out to think about this. I'm passing out. I throw up some more and I throw up everything they just gave me. I feel like I cannot walk, like I feel so weak. My dad ends up getting a wheelchair and they get me into the wheelchair. My mom said that she wanted to take me back in, but like, again, they were really busy that day. And so she my dad goes to get the nausea medication they prescribed me, the new nausea pills. They don't like, they're not like the ones that dissolve under my tongue. They're ones I swallow. Also, sorry, I'm clearing out from another sickness. So if my voice sounds weird at all, I cough, that's why. But um, I let my friends know, and like, I'm so grateful for everyone, my family and in my ward and my friend group, because everyone was very supportive and like praying for me. Prayers were answered because I started out taking the nausea pills and eat, I was able to get some more food in, but then I just got more and more food in and I wasn't even taking the nausea pills, like I was just eating. I was able to get to my first day of school. My first day of school is three days after the ER. I was really nervous about like me, that being an issue with me going back to school. Week, I've been improving a lot still and I got through my first week of school and it still has been a bit hard. Like that was a bit of a kind of dramatic experience. And I'm still always like nervous now, but what if I slip back to where I was? 
causes me a lot of anxiety. I really fought as hard as I could to get through it and to get better and to not, and I'm still fighting to not go back there. And actually my food intake has gone way better. I eat because I want to eat and I get hunger cues again. Like just, it was amazing how fast it was getting way better. I did get a cold, so that was a little rough at the beginning of the school year as well, but I would much rather have a cold than be like how sick I was, you know? It was all good. At martial arts class this week, it was my first time back there for a while because of all of this. We were doing our like tricking class, you know, and I got really dizzy and really tired really fast. I ended up leaving that class a bit early. And then I didn't go last night. I was studying for a test and I also felt still like me endurance is still having a hard time like coming back and just walking up a staircase like i can start being like <gasps> right now last night the night before last night was when i didn't go taekwondo i'm doing okay and it also is very empowering to me to get through everything that's been happening and prove my faith of like prayers do get answered i really had to rely on god and christ through this and getting a lot better like a lot quicker than i thought it would which is has been a huge blessing because i was very scared about that thank you for watching and joining me in my journey that is what happened i know i made a post about it i didn't know where i was going to be at with posting because i didn't know if i could physically be able to do much including just filming a video like that was it, kind of exhausting for me just to like get ready for the day and do videos and stuff but made a post saying like I'm having some health problems or something like that and I got questions asking what happened or like if I was okay which I really appreciate that thank you for the support and love through my my YouTube channel but also like through this I've been going through and struggles I've had I'm improving a lot I was surprised by how quickly I was able to get back going with things that's about it. I'm 16 now. Avoided going to the center so I can still make videos. I can still, I got back to school and just lots of things, good things are happening. Started a new job, but yeah. There's my life update with what happened. I'll see you guys in my next video.